Hi guys, this is video uh, rule number two, and as you can see, I've been stirring for about 10-12 minutes, and you can see the color has gotten, you know, quite a bit darker. Now it's getting closer to the color of peanut butter, and um, I lowered my fire a little bit, so I don't want it to, you know, boil hard. As you can see, it's just kind of bubbling every now and then. And I have a black iron pot, so that's going to retain the heat, you know, twice as much. Really, really good. So you can cook it uh, much lower on a, an iron skillet or even those uh, like enamel pots. But I don't know, if you cook roux in those, it may discolor it. I'm not sure. I've never done it in mine and as you can see I'm using a wooden spoon to stir do not use plastic it will melt in your pot uh, this is boiling oil you know just like you'd be frying chicken or frying anything and I'm sure you can hear me at, I'm not just stirring lightly as I'm stirring I'm scraping the bottom of my pot going back and forth just so I get all the little bits and nothing sticks to the bottom. Because if it starts to stick and you leave it there, it will burn. And if it burns, you have to throw the whole mess out and start over. There is no way to correct a burnt root. Okay, so you just stir it. And like I said, some people, a lot of people, myself included, uh, when we get ready to make a gumbo, we'll just throw in equal amounts of oil and flour in our pot and do this roux method and then continue on with our, our onions and bell pepper and such, uh, you know, brown it up like that. Now, if you're doing it like this and you want to do a batch and put it in your refrigerator, you can use it like this. And when I take it out, I take out whatever I think I'm going to use. Um, two or three big spoonfuls for my gumbo and just proceed as a uh, you can put a little bit of oil in your pot and um, start sweating down your vegetables and then add your roux down it'll start to melt and then add your uh, water uh, you know after you've browned your meat I'll show you all the process in another video but and I'll kind of explain how, how if you want to do make your roux in that pot or if you want to uh, take it out of a batch in the refrigerator. I always have uh, big batches of roux in my refrigerator. That way if somebody requests stew or gumbo, boom, I can do it in really quick time. Okay, so y'all can see it's continuing to get a much richer browner color and uh, I'll come back with another video and show y'all what I bring it to. This is Red Berry, and I'll talk to y'all soon.